Well, speaking of earnings, you've also got a century ply in the spotlight. Keshav Bajanka is now joining in on the show uh, to talk a little bit more about that. Good to have you on board. And despite this time around, the fact that we have seen, uh, you know, your volume price growth uh, this time around on a year-on-year -year basis that has been steady, um, your EBITDA and uh, CBM has declined for plywood. What is the reason for that? Hi, good morning. Uh, wish you a very happy uh, festival, festival of Same lights. to you and your team. Thank you. Um, I think that, uh, you know, we have been largely in line with the guidance we had provided. In plywood, our guidance has been to do 13 to 15% EBITDA margins. And we have been more or less track with about a 13.5% odd uh, EBITDA margin. Um, going forward, the endeavor will be to improve this. But like I said, we are more or less in line with guidance. And uh, this is what we are stri striving to achieving. Uh, to us, it is not a miss, but uh, rather we have been largely on track to know. Um, let's also uh, understand a little bit more then about the MDF segment. How has the import pressure there subsided? What kind of volume growth can we see in the second half? The import pressure persists. I think uh, that, you know, it hasn't changed much, but uh, we have been reasonably insulated, being a player that is predominantly in the north. And as a result of that, we have been able to maintain uh, good growth uh, because the new capacity has finally come into play. And at the same time, we've been able to maintain margins. Uh, our guidance was towards 25% EBITDA margin. And uh, although there was an exceptional uh, subsidy that came in on behalf of a crude interest, a crude power subsidy on behalf of the government of Punjab, uh, we have been largely around the 25% EBITDA margin target that we had given. Towards the second half of the year, the growth is likely to be at 25% plus. And uh, I think that we have been able to do well despite this import pressure playing out. Keshav, uh, you know, let's address the volume growth within the plywood segment because what we understand is that it's a little bit lower than what your peers are clocking. Why is that? And what's uh, the plan to catch up in the coming quarters? I think, uh, you know, we have been um, focusing on profitable growth. Uh, growth at the sake of margins is something that we tend to avoid. And uh, the growth that we have been achieving has been close to double-digit growth. And towards the second half of the year also, we will be looking at double-digit plus growth. As you know that uh, the cycle isn't really too much in our favor right now. There have been a lot of new launches, uh, but this takes a little bit of time to fructify. So I think the acceleration in volumes without a real negative impact on margins is likely to begin from next year as well. Uh, next year uh, at the earliest. But during the second half of the year as well, we're looking at double-digit growth and I'm fairly confident we'll be able to deliver on the same. Is there any specific reason uh, that you're lagging when it comes to uh, plywoods? Um, I think that, you know, if you look at the cycle, um, first you have materials like cement and piping, etc. that go into construction of uh, the building, so to speak, or the house. And then post that, our journey starts when it goes from the house to a home. So typically, because the overall inventory sold is, I think, at the lowest in the last five years, a lot of the old units have been exhausted. And now this new construction that has taken place, for us to feel the benefit of that is likely to be six to nine months later. So I think that is the difference between us and perhaps some other industries within the building material space. Bit of a drag, it reported a 2% year on year decline. Are you seeing a recovery or will it continue to remain in a bit of a soft spot? Sorry, could you repeat that? The uh, laminate segment, you. when can yes. you see a recovery? I think, you know, in laminates, there are two factors that have led <coughs> to, to this muted uh, growth. The first being that our launches were slightly delayed. We have launched our new catalog, but that took longer than expected. And it has been launched within over the course of the last two quarters. The benefit of that, we should get within H2 itself. So I'm looking at a fairly good H2. Uh, alongside that, the new capacity addition that we had planned to start trial production within the last quarter is likely to start trial production within this quarter. So both of these are highly positive uh, things in the long term. But in the short term, due to delays, the impact has been deferred. So from H2 onwards, you shall see a, a recovery 
and next year should be a fairly robust year for Lambdex. And uh, also give us a sense as to what the outlook is when it comes to the Laminate project uh, at Andhra Pradesh. That's expected to come on stream in Q3. What are the anticipated benefits? What kind of contribution can we see that making to your overall revenues, to your overall business? I think, uh, you know, like I said, uh, we are likely to have trial production within uh, this month itself. Um, and uh, it is a highly positive uh, sign for us because we have never been present in the larger si uh, sizes. For instance, a 10 by 4 or a 14 by 6, which are predominantly export sizes, but which have been so showing robust growth for the last two to three years. So now that we are present in these, our export opportunity increases drastically and this is going to aid to the growth of the division substantially so i am looking forward to a strong contribution on both margins and top line growth due to the new project commencing in andhra pradesh okay on that note we'll let you go thanks so much for taking time out and joining in Meantime, just checking in on the rest of the market and we're holding out at 19,000.